Today we're here at Old Farm School in Connecticut. We're called to this job to discuss a challenge that many schools around the country are facing today, how to improve their indoor air quality. Let's talk to someone at the school who helped make it happen. Here we are in the main quad of the Avon Old Farm School with Director of Facilities, Glenn Wilcox. Glenn, thanks for having us. You're welcome. Uh, Glenn, if you could just talk about some of the issues that you guys are having prior to opening, that would be great. Sure. Um, when, you know, with the onset of the COVID, we were faced with a lot of challenges. And one of our biggest challenges was the lack of ventilation in our older buildings. We've got a very historic older campus uh, with, I'm going to say, poor ventilation in a lot of the old spaces. Um, so it was apparent early in summer that we had to do something with uh, to improve our ventilation. So we contacted a local engineering firm and had them come and look at what we had. They looked at it and they recommended that we install some energy recovery ventilators, uh, manufactured of course by Renew Air. Um, so we looked into that, got a hold of our local vendor for those and they got in touch with you folks and we managed to get all the units installed and in place prior to the opening of school so we could have a safe opening this fall. That's great. Now let's take a look. Okay. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. So Kevin, you know, we were outside, you asked me what challenges we faced and obviously just overcoming the need for ventilation was the first challenge. The second was how do we install this in our buildings? You can see with the architecture, we've got a lot of challenges here. There's no way we could, we could have hidden the units so we had to make them exposed. So what we did was we came up with a plan to keep it as simple as possible so that our own staff could install these units, which we did, um, utilizing spiral duct, and do it in such a way so that we wouldn't permanently damage any of the architecture. So what we did, you can see here that we took out, you know, the window itself as a unit, made yep. a plywood insert, and put the, both the intake and the exhaust through windows that are spaced more than the 10 feet apart, which is the recommended minimum distance. Um, and we did it in such a way so that's all reversible with no permanent damage. The, the duct that serves the fresh air, you see it goes through this wall because there's another classroom on the other side of this wall. That's just a sheetrock wall, so it's just a matter of a sheetrock patch if we ever can reverse this. Um, so we did that. The other one we were concerned with, even though this is an ERV unit and we're going to recover as much energy as possible, we're concerned about here in the Northeast, you know, you get into December, January, February, and it's zero degrees out, we're not going to be able to maintain space temperature in the classrooms. So we installed the heating coil downstream of the fan. Uh, the heating coil, the water into that heating coil runs 24-7, so we have no danger of it freezing so that that will give us our supplemental heat so that our discharge temperature will be acceptable during the colder months. Great. So I think one other thing this, this will do, I think is also probably be a catalyst for future permanent ventilation. You know, this is a temporary solution because that was the, you know, the problem we were faced with. We had to do something here and uh, we, we actually did all these in seven weeks. So that was really quick. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have much time to react to get the plan in place prior to the opening of school. That's great. So, but it's worked out well. You know, we start them two hours prior to every class and they run two hours after every class, pre and post purge. We run it simply right here from a timer. It's a 12 hour timer, so our staff will come in in the morning at six or seven a.m., rotate the timer for 12 hours, the unit will run continuously for 12 hours. That's great. <clears throat> you guys did a great job. Yep, thanks. RSC Thermal is happy to help another customer with their indoor air quality needs. Please call or email if we could be of any help to you. 